welcome to the Winning Workplaces Hub, which is really focusing on people and performance and how we can create successful working environments. I think design in the workplace is, is critical. I think far too often we're focusing on the wrong things. We're focusing on saving space and saving money. But at the end of the day, offices are there to support the occupying organisations. And I think we can do that through good design. By 2020, over half the working population will be over the age of 50. Our design for offices is really, really important. Uplifted, excited, wow, great to come through the front door, arriving at work. We have a floor dedicated to design, and we have a design lab with about 70 designers in it. Um, and, and, and we have a chief design officer that has access to our CEO. So I think all of those speak volumes of where we stand as, a, as an organization uh, going forward with design. So good workplace design offers us many benefits. I think it's mostly about uh, creating environments that support innovation and creativity. The perfect workplace is different for different people. My only uh, solution I can offer at the moment is make sure that you offer choice and flexibility. Once we accept our limits, we can go beyond them. To help design people's workspaces in a way that they can capitalize on these mechanisms that are built into our brains. You know, I think it's, it's well known, you know, from neuroscience and heuristics, etc., that, you know, priming is, is extremely well known. You, you are primed by your behavior. So the, the way that the office environment is designed will set up how people behave. Design community who design product, who design uh, services, who design technologies, really need to address all the different types of people who are working in the workforce. And generally speaking, I think in office design today, this is the single most important factor for us as designers to address. It's no longer about your desk. The in-between spaces are the things that we as designers should be focusing on in terms of getting the brief right, getting the process right to understand the requirements, getting and identifying what is actually necessary to enable people to, to do things in their office environment that actually um, helps them become successful. What some people prefer, say introverts, they will want quiet spaces, subdued spaces, they like to work on their own. If you're extroverted, you're going to want buzzy, stimulating environments with lots of colour and lots of excitement. We're different animals, we need different spaces.